Hello world, Calc Programmer one here. Today I wanted to do a quick little video showing off Fex emulator on PostMarket OS running Steam. So this is my OnePlus 6T, which is an old Android smartphone that is supported by PostMarket OS. And PostMarket OS is a Linux distribution for um, phones and tablets and other ARM, like, mobile devices, uh, mainly intended as an Android replacement operating system. Uh, I have used it in the past on the Pine Phone and the Pine Phone Pro, but this OnePlus 6T is considerably more powerful than either of those phones. It has a Vulkan-capable GPU, the Adreno 630, which has an open-source driver called Freedreno, uh, Freedreno being the Mesa OpenGL component, and then Turnip being the Vulkan component. And being able to run games on this hardware uh, is much more powerful than the old PinePhone Pro hardware, which does not have Vulkan support. So I'm going to try running some games on this, and I've, I've been messing around with this for a few days now. I have an Xbox uh, One Bluetooth controller paired up with the phone, and I'm running my touchpad emulator uh, program on there to control the mouse cursor. So I have uh, Steam installed in Fex. And the way I got this to work is you can't install Fex directly on PostMarket OS. Uh, so what I did is I set up an Ubuntu 24.04 uh, container in DistroBox. And then I installed Fex inside of that Ubuntu container. And the reason is that Fex provides an install script and a PPA repository for installing on Ubuntu. It's their, like, preferred method. So I have that set up, and then I was able to install Steam on that, and then I was able to install some games. Now, I intended to show you Skyrim. Um, that's what I have here, and I can get it to boot the launcher, but then after I hit play, it doesn't make it in-game. And I'm not sure why. I did a few tests before recording this, trying to get it to work. Um, and the thing is, I have a tablet that's running the same PostMarket OS Edge, um, the same DistroBox container, the same Fex, the same Steam, and I was able to run Skyrim just fine on that. Um, and I don't know why I can't get it running on the phone. Um, the OnePlus 6T has a 6 gigabytes of RAM, and my tablet, which is the Xiaomi Pad 5 Pro, has 8 gigabytes of RAM. But either way, I have a 4 gigabyte swap file set up uh, to lighten that RAM load, which uh, originally, when I tried to run Skyrim on either device, it would just crash. Uh, with the 4 gigabyte swap file, I was able to run it on my tablet. For some reason, I can't get it to run on my phone right now, so instead I'm going to demonstrate something a little less intense, and I'm going to try running Celeste. Uh, I can I can run Half-Life. I've got some other games on here. I had, so not all of these are on the phone. Some of them are uh, on remote PC. I have Oblivion. I tested that. That one does uh, boot in and run, but it doesn't support controller, so I can't really demo it very easily. Half-Life 2, um, that one does work. Uh, it does have controller support, but the controller support was a little broken. Only certain controls seemed to work. Um, Half-Life 2 Deathmatch also worked just fine. Lost Coast worked just fine. And then the Talos Principle uh, worked just fine as well. That one, um, being a Vulcan native game, was pretty interesting to test. And then Ultimate Chicken Horse, which is a very like lightweight game, work just fine. So of all of those games, I was going to test Celeste because the intro sequence has like a 3D rendered animation and then in game, uh, it works great with a controller. So that's what I'm going to test for this video just to have something that's installed on here work. I also did test Subnautica on my tablet. I haven't tried it on the phone yet and it did work on my tablet. Some of them didn't have the greatest performance, but um, some games actually ran quite playably, which is interesting for running 
Steam games on an ARM system. So this is Celeste running on Fex emulator on Postmarket OS. And the Steam thing glitches out in the bottom there. I'm not sure why. But then controllers paired up. So you can see this scene is like 3D rendered um, and it's actually running very smooth. Uh, I don't have a frame rate counter. I couldn't get Mango HUD to work. I don't know how to do that uh, on FEX, but I would say this is running at 60 frames per second, which is the refresh rate of this phone. Uh, so let's go ahead and start the game. And I am not good at this game. I just started playing it. Um, but yeah, so, Oops. but as you can see, it's running just fine. I must have hit something. Um, but yeah, I'm terrible at this game. But it is running and it's very smooth and fluid. Uh, spikes everywhere. Okay. Uh, I didn't say I'm good at this game, but it is running very smoothly, and if you, if I had like, well, for one, the USB interface on the OnePlus 6T isn't quite working yet as a host, so once that is working, I think they're working on that, once that's working, this would be really good with one of those uh, controller grips for your phone that just plugs into the USB-C port, uh, then you'd be able to play quite a few lightweight Steam games on your phone and have basically a mini Steam Deck. So that's pretty cool. Uh, that's just what I wanted to show. I think I want to do a more in-depth video of FEX and how to set it up on Postmarket OS, um, but I don't have time to do that right now. So yeah, thanks for watching.